Hello and welcome to today's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, it's Friday the 10th of November. Um, difficult puzzle today. Uh, I think um, anyone who's who's tried it will will have appreciated what I'm saying. What I thought we'd do is I, I filled in I think the answers that don't merit too much further explanation. I'm really sorry if you're looking at some of the answers here and thinking well I, I didn't understand how to get that but I think um, we have to you know focus on some things and so what I've done is I've, I've just left out the answers that I think I, I found interesting or worthy of, of further comment. Um, uh, let's start with one down. I mean, I, I really like this clue. Um, so Jean set Henry Wright uh, filling Perry in a little. Um, so it's a very clever surface because the definition here is actually Jean set. Um, so it's not referring to um, a person called Jean or a film star called Jean or a singer called Jean. It's referring to uh, a set of genes, and that might immediately allow you to write in the answer if, if you know if you especially if you have these letters in the grid so henry we know is an abbreviation often is h can be hal as well but um uh, h right r so we can see that's in the middle of something oh it's not letting me type that's not a good sign um so let's try and put it in there now you might be what might well be seeing the answer so Perry here is, is lovely, it's Perry Como. Um, don't see that very often. And in a little um, sum, it's giving us chromosome as the answer for the gene set. So a, a lovely clue at one down. Um, I actually, I really liked one across two, but it was perhaps a little bit more obvious that that was an anagram. Um, three down, yeah, I mean, it depends, I think. Um, how, how well you know your, your John Wayne films, but I think this is a reference to Liberty Balance um, and having no ties, you're at Liberty, so let's put that in. 15 across, threadbare children, yours not ours. Now, the reason I've included this is it's quite rare to see such, um, uh, such a considerable number of letters taken away from another word in wordplay here. So the, the, the definition here is threadbare. And the yours not ours bit at the end of that is hinting that you need a letter Y because if you if you have the word yours and you remove the ours from it, the O, U, R and S, you're just left with the Y and that's signaling this Y here. So we now need a, need a four letter word for children at the start of this. And something you do see from time to time, your children with your seed um, so, and then CD for threadbare um, is is the synonym. So I, I thought that was nice. Not seen that too often before. Um, and also something I, I I suppose I'm starting to see more often, but is worthy of mention is in six down where we see software um, defining app app. Um, so obviously I think most of us will be familiar with apps, but. I don't think um, they were, you know, if you were to go back five years in the Times crossword, you'd never see this. Um, so it's a relatively new introduction to the language and to the crossword. Um, so we have software and then um, rove for range and the whole thing approve. Um, so look out for that. That's that's certainly uh, an innovation, I think. Um, so what did I leave? Uh, four down, I just liked uh, top dog in the humanities, etc., with no time for one in a suit. Um, so that the wordplay here is is getting at the the king of the arts might be the top dog in humanities. And if we if we take the king of the arts and we remove one of his T's, um, we get the king of hearts, and that's one in a suit. Um, so another. Another, I suppose, a nice piece of wordplay there. Um, I'm not sure if the king of the arts is a known expression. I doubt it, but uh, I quite liked it. Um, this was an interesting clue, 17 across, where we have benefit 
to be had saving pennies in, say, 40s and 50s. Now, the, it's, it's a little hard to ex even explain what this is getting at. I think if you're in your 40s and 50s at an age, that's hinting at the answer. So let's put in and understand how it works. So a benefit is your mileage. So sometimes, in, you know, at work or something, you may, you may get given uh, a benefit being your, you get your mileage paid back. So that's what this is referring to. And then the pennies, are the old pennies were DD. Now, so when it says pennies in, say, your 40s and 50s, um, I wonder whether he's, this, the setter's trying to get the 40s and 50s to do double duty here to hint that it's you know it's old pennies he's referring to, um, but that's that's what's going going on there. And actually, I needed the L from middle age to help me with 18 down. Um, I didn't have the K when I came to this, which which made it quite a lot more difficult. So see that old Olympic team of ours breaks record. They're a nice surface. Um, and one of these clues where you have to really, you know, read it a few times to try and work out what the definition is. Um, it's actually just record here. Um, and the way the wordplay is breaking down is see that. If you say see that to someone, you might say look. Um, and then old Olympic team of ours is breaking in to the word look. So an old old is O, we've seen that before, Olympic team of ours is GB. Um, so apologies if you're an American solving this crossword because um, this is going to make no sense to you at all. Um, and then we can fill in the look around the edge. Um, so for the record being a logbook. Um, so very um, difficult wordplay to get your head round. Quite, quite, quite original, I thought. Um, 22 across, place for post, best inside ring. Um, again, I liked this because the, of the um, the second sort of hint of the definition here. So best inside ring is not referring to the best place to put the post. Uh, it's saying if you best someone inside the boxing ring, you would outbox them. And your outbox is a place you might put your post. So that's what's happening with that one. So I, I thought that was, again, a very nice, um, very nice use of language there in the clue. Um, okay, let's move on to uh, seven down. So keen to be got out of this massacre site. This is one of these clues where, which we, we see from time to time, um, where it's it's actually very hard. To get this from the wordplay. So if you, if you just were ignorant about the site of the massacre that you need here, I'm I'm really not sure without you know without checking letters and a guess that you would ever get this answer from the wordplay. Um, the answer is of course wounded knee, which is a, a site of a massacre, and you can probably immediately see if you know if you know your massacre sites how um, how wounded hit knee is basically a cryptic clue, it's wordplay that would give you keen because wounded can be an anagram indicator and knee, um, you know, if you shuffle the letters of knee you get the keen. Um, but yeah, I suppose the difficulty of this clue depends upon your, um, your general knowledge. Um, now, five down, I, I I put this in with a little bit of trepidation because I wasn't quite sure that the wordplay worked precisely here. So we've got trail leading away from street in Irish port. Now you're probably all looking at this thinking, well, yeah, I can think of an Irish port that goes in there. And yeah, so could I. So it's Galway. But how does it work? And, how, and I certainly wasn't convinced there wasn't another Irish port that was blank a blank way. Um, the way I think this works is trail, if you trail someone you lag them. And if that's leading away from the word way for a street, um, so if it's 
you know, if it's going in the other direction, away from the word way, a lot of ways in that sentence, then, then you would get gall um, going away from the way. So I sort of see how it works. I just think it's really hard to see. Um, and yeah, for that reason, I thought it was worthy of comment. As indeed is this extraordinary wordplay at nine across. So pop group we hear in Brighton, for example, sticks out. Now, <laughs> so I think the way this works is that the pop group is a rock band. Now, for some of us, I don't think those two things are synonymous, but for others, pop and rock are the same thing and they won't uh, bat an eyelid uh, about the, um, the definition there. Now, how does the rest of it work? Well, the we here, well, we've seen that before, that's a homophone indicator, so the, the rest of it is going to sound like um, what's being given by the wordplay. And I think the way you're meant to read this is, is like this. So in Brighton, for example, sticks. Well, in Brighton, you get sticks of rock. Okay, so I think that is what's being included there. Uh, and, then, and then if those sticks of rock are out, they are banned, B-A-N-N-E-D. Um, so I think that that is how that wordplay breaks down. It's extremely difficult wordplay. Um, and if you're coming to this as your first ever Times Crossword Clue, I think you would be you could be forgiven for just saying, I will never understand these crosswords, I will never look at them again. Well, please don't be put off by, you know, the occasional clue that really, really is, is uh, it taxes uh, the brain like to the max. And this is an example of that. Um, and, you know, I think pop group for rock band, well, we can all see that's, the, you know, whether we agree with it as a definition or not, it's not, it's not a terribly difficult one to come up with. So we're left with two more. Ten across. Uh, go on hike causing commotion. Um, well, actually it's worth pointing out that when you see the word go in a crossword clue, a times crossword, very often it can be hinting at the word turn. So here I was immediately thinking turn. I think I had a couple of letters at this point and let's put that. And then so the go, the turn, is going on hike. If you hike something, you up it, so upturn. And you're left with wondering whether upturn is the definition of commotion. Um, well, I, I went with it because I couldn't think of anything else that fitted the wordplay. Uh, and um, it must be right because I didn't get the mark wrong for this one. Um, um, but yeah, uh, sort of an upturn in fortunes I'm familiar with, but an upturn is a commotion I wasn't. So fair play to you if you knew that. And we come to 21 down, which I got wrong. Um, I don't think I was the only one. Um, so let's read the clue. Uh, excellent point that's raised. Um, okay, well, this looks like excellent is the definition, and indeed it is. And then I read the rest of it as, um, as an instruction to find a word that means point and reverse it, especially as it's a down clue. Uh, and I came up with tops. Oh, sugar. And you can see it's not quite right. <laughs> um, so I thought a spot is a point, uh, you know. Uh, I don't think that's too controversial. I think the dictionary would, would support that. Um, but actually, there is another possible answer to this clue. It's extremely unusual for this to happen in the Times. Um, oh, golly. Um, if we try the word boss, it likes us more. Um, now, why does this work? Well, um, boss can be a word that means excellent. Um, if something's excellent, you could describe it as boss, um, which I think is, is already more, uh, more unusual, perhaps, than my word tops here. And then a point that's raised, well, uh, you know, you get a boss stud, it's something that, that, is, um, that is raised. So it's not, you know, there's no actual... Um, sort of wordplay in the sense of us having to manipulate letters or words around here. It's simply a double definition, the way the set has worked it. So, um, you know, if you went for tops, I think you could be forgiven. I think you were in reasonable company. I don't know what marked it today, actually, um, but uh, 
I saw there were a few very, very good soldiers, uh, you know, finalists in the Times Crossword Championship who, I presume, went for tops as well, because um, they had one, one hour each day. Um, so, very interesting puzzle um, for lots of reasons, and I hope this run-through is helpful. Um, we'll be back uh, over the weekend with probably a bit of Killer Sudoku, and I might do a review of the Times Championship too. Uh, so we'll see you then on Cracking the Cryptic. Magic. Oh.